Hello everyone. Welcome back. Or welcome to another video. I'm not sure how long this video is going to run. But currently it is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Um, I just woke up. So it's not even 8 yet. Because I'm an early wake up person. Because... I don't know why, um, but I woke up. So, last, I know that one of my roommates is visiting family, like already left to be with family for Thanksgiving, but I thought my other roommate was still going to be here. Last night I was FaceTiming my sister until like midnight, and then I was like, oh, I'll leave on one of my other roommates, like, light things for when he gets back <laughs> and then you know he can turn it off when he gets back because I thought he was coming back and I woke up at like 3 a.m. because I very often wake up in the middle of the night the light is still on and my roommate is still gone and I was like okay like I thought he was coming back but I mean, that's fine, whatever. Or maybe he was just doing something really late. But I wake up and he's still not back. And I wasn't aware that he was going to be gone, so I'm a little bit concerned. Because I feel like he probably would have told us. So I think I'm going to text him once it's like maybe closer to a reasonable hour of the day for other people to be waking up when there's no class. But yeah, so I actually woke up with no one else in the room, so it's perfect for filming. So tomorrow's Thanksgiving and I have a flight out of the airport at 7.30 a.m. So I'm gonna have to wake up very, very early tomorrow. I am pretty excited, but today all I'm doing is going to work for my regular time, which is like two hours, and then going to watch Wakanda Forever, and then just like coming back and packing and whatever. Do you guys want to know what books I'm reading? Or do you not care? Tell me right now. Okay, I'll show you since you since you wanted to know. We'll count this as the um, November reading wrap up because I did not read nearly enough books to consider making a, a video so here is what we have five of these are from the library one of them I own and I think the one I own I've already talked about before so first book on earth we're briefly gorgeous I talked about this one in a different video because I was really excited to read it and it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, but it was still a good book. The beginning was a little slow, but it was interesting, and it was, like, enlightening, I think. I gave it four stars on Goodreads. So that's that one. Next book I have, you guys are gonna think I'm insane, um, Macbeth by Shakespeare. Okay, my next book is Sense and Sensibility. I showed my sister these two on FaceTime last night, and she was like, do you have to read those for class? And I was like, no. I'm literally reading them for fun because I'm a nerd. A Shakespeare nerd, apparently. I'm two acts. I've read two acts of this. I mostly read it because, picked it up because I was like, 
You know, I feel like this is something that I need to know, like, the plot of. Especially after I read If We Were Villains. Like, Macbeth, I feel like is very important to understand. And I have Julius Caesar at home. And I'll probably bring it back after Thanksgiving so I can read that and, like, annotate it, you know? This one is, like, pretty interesting so far, I guess? I haven't read too many Shakespeare's, so... <laughs> and then... Sense and Sensibility, still. I don't think I've read any of this in weeks. I'm still like stuck at halfway through. Probably I forgot what was even happening, but it's still in my pile. And then Little Fires Everywhere by Slust Inc. I got this one from the library and my roommate saw it sitting in my pile of books and she was like, oh my gosh, that book is so good. Have you started it yet? And I was like, no. And she was like, it's so good. And then like two days ago, I went to the gym and read on the treadmill while I was walking because, because. Anyways, and I texted one of my friends that I was reading Little Fires Everywhere. And she said she read it in a single day and it was really good, so. And I've read like 20 pages and it is good so far. So that's that one. And then these two I haven't started yet. Um, but <laughs> next one I have is Brotherhood by Mike Chen, that Star Wars one. Um, this is because of, I don't think I know their actual name, but their TikTok and Instagram is Ribs, R-I-B-B-S. And I actually think I saw them go off about this book so many times. I originally followed them for I think like their um, Raven Cycle content, which is a different book series that I read and I enjoyed. Um, but now they do like a lot of Star Wars. Or maybe it was like a couple months ago they did a lot of Star Wars stuff. But I saw this at the library in like the new fiction section and I was like, okay, I have to get it. Like, Star Wars and I haven't I'm not a Star Wars buff buff I've seen all the movies obviously multiple times but I haven't seen the Han Solo one because I adamantly hate Han Solo and I haven't watched the Obi-Wan series or the Mandalorian so but yeah I'm excited to read it <laughs> and last book I have is The Summer I Turned Pretty because I was walking around the library after I turned in some books and I was like oh I want to you know pick up some other books and this one I saw on the shelf and I was like I don't know I picked it up because you know there is this series on what is it on like Amazon Prime is it I don't know I think I've heard people say that it's easy to read so I was like oh it'll be good for like the airport or on the plane I feel like it's kind of a staple in young adult fiction, so I better read it one of these times. So, yeah, I guess I have to decide which ones I'm actually gonna bring with me for the airport and stuff. Because I can't bring them all because that would fill up like my entire backpack. I'll probably bring Little Fires Everywhere and Macbeth and the summer I turn pretty. Oh. And I need to add to my list that I want to bring my Shakespeare plays back with me. I have Julius Caesar and Hamlet at home that I haven't read yet, so I'm going to bring those so I can read them. Alright, let's get ready for the day, even though we don't know what we're doing. Okay, I have to decide what to wear um, because I'm going to have to wear the same thing to work with my kindergartners as I wear to 
go to the Black Panther movie. So, I think I'll probably just wear... I might wear the same jeans I wore yesterday. <laughs> because I think they're cute, but they're also like a little professional looking, you know? They make me feel fancy a little bit. Yesterday I wore them with my trench coat. And I was, I felt so cool, you guys. Wear a trench coat and you immediately feel cool. Maybe a sweater? Let's go look. Okay. Okay, I'm set on my orange very very fall sweater obviously I wear a long sleeve under it because the texture I just cannot deal with <laughs> I'm gonna go change okay here's the outfit for everyone <laughs> as you can only see I like my posters they look very good like this thumbnail no never mind yeah, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup because I kind of feel like it. But my little bit of makeup is like nothing to anyone else that does makeup, so you can't make fun of me. Okay. And I'll tell you guys about an issue that I've been having that isn't really an issue, but it is an issue to me. <laughs> well, maybe it is an issue. I don't know. So basically, on Friday, while I'm home, I'm having Friendsgiving with my friends from home, which I'm super, super excited for. Um, and we said, like, it's at me and my sister's house, or my parents' house, <laughs> and my sister's house while I'm here. But um, we were like, oh yeah, we should do like a potluck type thing so everyone brings, you know, something to eat. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea, because one of my friends suggested it. But since me and my sister are hosting, I was like, we should probably make some kind of, like, main course type thing. Because, you know, I mean, I want to have some semblance of an actual meal and not just snacks, right? Um, so I was trying to come up with something, but this is, this is where the problem is, is that... Um, so me, there's like eight or nine or ten of us, whatever. Me and one of my other friends are vegetarian, which like I would be fine making something not vegetarian if I was the only one, but one of my friends also is. Um, and then one of my friends is allergic to dairy. Like she can be around it, but she cannot eat dairy and is not supposed to have a lot of wheat. And then two other friends are pretty lactose intolerant one of those friends that's lactose intolerant is also very allergic to nuts i can't be near them at all and then can't eat a lot of like fruits because they're also very allergic to like plants like grass trees etc and fruits get like clumped into that category um so Basically, there is nothing that I can. Oh, that's not. There's like nothing that I can think of that I will be able to make my friends so we can all eat <laughs> some kind of main course. And it's a little bit silly that I can't come up with anything. That's just how it goes, I guess. I don't know. Now I feel like I need to put my hair back because it looks odd. Might just be the window light though. It's getting a little weird. Yeah, that's my issue. Also, this is literally like a morning routine video. And probably it's the only morning routine video you guys are ever going to get while I'm here. Because I don't think ever again both of my roommates will be gone. <laughs> in the morning. It's very strange. I do have to pack my lunch for work. 
my eyebrows look better like that? Who knows? Who knows? Also, I'll update you guys on the fic I've been reading. <laughs> I think I'm nearly done with it. But I know I mentioned it in my last video about the Marauders. If you're a Marauders fan, or Harry Potter fan even, go check out that video. I'll link it or whatever, you know. Anyways, I talked about it in my last video that I was reading it, but it's like 38 chapters and I think I'm like 24 chapters in. So I'm like, I'm close, like two thirds of the way through. Does that look good? Yeah. But it's called Art Heist Baby. The username is just like six letters. I don't remember what they are now. It's like O T R something like that. And it's been pretty cute. It's been pretty good. Jegulous again. It seems to me like all of the modern fix have Jegulous in them. Like if it was written in the past like year, I feel like it's Jegulous. And I don't know when the ship like originated, but I'm a little worried to do mascara because I think I might cry at the Black Panther movie. I think that's like reasonable to assume that I probably will cry. And I cry really easily. So I think mascara might be a little bit of a risk. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna lay off on the mascara. And what should we do, guys? Anyways, I didn't really tell you about the fic. <laughs> I just said I was reading it and that it had Jegulus in it. The writing is, like, good, but... I want to say, like, the grammar is even good, but the sentence structures are iffy and it's only because of commas and periods like if there were more commas in the dialogue and more periods in like the descriptive sentences then it would be basically perfect yeah but the storyline is like it's good i'm kind of hooked i want to see where it goes so I have like two hours until I need to leave for work. You know, I think for the length of this video, it's actually just gonna be a get ready with me video <laughs> because it's already gonna be too long. This is my little, I wrote on it that it's called the me notebook. I'm using it to like keep myself accountable for things like reading and like running, not picking at my face because I'm really bad at that. And then I'm writing like a daily accomplishment or like good things about every day in it because I just think that's nice. And I actually used to do that on a whiteboard in my room. I had a whiteboard up and every day I would write about on it like my favorite thing about the day. This was a long time ago, probably like seventh grade. And then when I did that in like seventh grade, I would, I would take those things that I wrote on my board and I'd write like a little paragraph about them in my journal. But I stopped doing it eventually because I was getting so behind writing about them in my journal. Because in my journal, because I'm a little bit weird, I'd write in full, my first journal I didn't write in full pages and then I was like, I'm wasting so much paper. So then after that, I started writing a full page every time I wrote. Basically, like, some days I would not want to write a whole page, so I wouldn't write. And then I'd be behind on, like, my favorite thing writing for that day, and they all added up, whatever. So I stopped doing that eventually. But anyways, I think it's a good habit to, like, say something, something you did well or something that made you happy because then you know you have it to look back on and that makes you recognize something that was good even if it's just like i don't know i read a couple pages of my book or like i washed my hair 
Like, those are still good things. Sometimes it's hard to do stuff like that, so... I actually think I'm gonna film another video. <laughs> maybe, maybe that was the whole video. Maybe it was not, in fact, a Thanksgiving weekend video, but it was a, a get ready with Elsa video. Morning routine. What would be different about my morning routine if it was a school day? Basically nothing, except I probably would not do- I say school day, I mean like a day that I have a morning class. Um, I probably would not do my makeup, even a little bit. I would not be talking to my phone the entire time, <laughs> but that's basically all. Like every morning I wake up, I eat my bagel, I moisturize my face, brush my teeth, get dressed, do the wordle, <laughs> and then like pack up my backpack and leave. It takes me like half an hour to get ready in the morning. In high school it took me like 45 minutes or 50 minutes every morning, but it was because I was talking to my sister while we were getting ready. So, <laughs> so I guess. Thanks for watching my get ready with me. Um, if you want to listen to me talk more, subscribe, go watch one of my other videos. I appreciate it. I was gonna say I love you guys, but it just reminds me of every single time Emma Chamberlain says that, and then she's like, is that weird? I feel like that's weird. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.